And so, like I said, the 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 vocal sound, especially in rock and pop, is never one track or what you do to one single track. It's all the doubles and harmonies and, and effects. So let me take the double out and let's listen to the first effect, this slap stereo, which is not really a slap. Keep holding on, we only have peace. Keep holding on now, it is the right thing. So this was the main... Uh, delay ambient sound that you hear in the track uh, it, it's pretty obvious and I wanted it to be that way because like I said the arrangement is sparse we have to do something with effects you can see here I am using the dynamics sidechain internal on the SSL to boost around 6 5k 6k so that the compressor reacts to the vocal going into the uh, delay which is the simple super tap six from waves you can see the settings but uh yeah i since the delay was poking out when she was singing certain parts i used the the internal side chain of the ssl to make the compressor react to that frequency in this case 6k and you can see keep holding on we only have peace keep holding on now it is the right thing. Basically, it works like a de-esser. You can see it catches C's and T's and S's and hard consonant, so the delay doesn't get those and they don't get repeated. Keep holding on, we only have peace. Keep holding on now, it is the right thing. Okay, you will not hear that much difference now if i bypass it but that's that's the way it was used it has a low pass filter here active and the delay is going to the reverb oh people can find us we've only pushed up without the reverb It's not that much, it's just adding a little bit of space, it's just blurring the delay a little bit, it's just 30%. And then the EQ to cut the low end we don't need and to massage the high end for this delay that is on the whole song. Then we have the main reverb. Again, pretty simple. Let's take the verse. Keep holding on. Filtering on the SSL and the reverb is a pro R. Keep holding on. We only have peace. Keep holding on. And it's really a room sound. You can hear it. Let me boost the volume. Keep holding on. We only have peace. Keep holding on. Now it is the right thing. Baby, it is the right thing. Without the reverb? Keep holding on, we only have peace. Keep holding on, now, it is the right thing. You can see the settings, it's a tight enough room, but very wide. And let's put it back at the volume it was. Keep holding on, we only have peace. Keep holding on, now, it is the right thing. There is a big difference. Um, she's in a completely different space when you add this little bit of reverb is a minus 20 but it makes such a big difference keep holding on and get satisfaction keep holding on now it is the right thing baby that's what i let's hear the hook find us we've only pushed It's so dry, obviously, when there's not this river, but it's just a tiny bit, and the Pro R is just amazing sounding. You can see the EQ curve cuts the high, you know, removes something very wide Q around what it is, 600. But it, but it's very good sounding reverb. So these two, one provides the slap stereo delay, provides the obvious effect. And the reverb provides the space where she's singing in. So that, that, that's the train of thought. Find us, we've only pushed start. Let's escape from here 
and now we're free. And then we have the throw delay. It's not really a throw, it's the main delay, which from the automation you can see the vocals is sent to it just on the choruses. So let's take a listen to it. Now people can find us. We've only pushed Let's escape from here. I removed all the other effects, so where you're hearing is just the the main delay sound and the dry vocals, which I'll try to mute. This is just the delay, nothing on the SSL. The delay itself is this and this. Why did I do that? Because I wanted a quarter, but I wanted a quarter, not ping-ponging, I wanted a quarter straight but stereo. So I basically stereoized the lead vocals coming in and before hitting the H delay, which gives us the repetition, but the delay, the stock Pro Tools delay gives us the stereo uh, spread. So let me bypass the H delay. You can hear the vocal is stereo. If I bypass the mode delay, We've only Let's escape from here and now we're free. Okay, so I simply stereoized the, the vocal before hitting the quarter delay on the H delay. Okay, so we have a quarter repetition as opposed to ping-ponging, but we have a stereo. Let me bypass the mode delay and leave the H delay on. Quite a difference, huh? This is with the mode delay. Make sense? If I used the ping pong, I will have, you know, different repetition. You know, makes you feel sick, kinda. <laughs> it's too much for a lead vocals, for a classy lead vocals, especially. It's not, you know, just too much. But so I wanted quarter repetition, but I wanted stereo. And of course, the repetition are, fi are filtered with, you can see the high pass and low pass on the H delay. Pro Q2 does the final shaping, very wide curves. But this delay, it's obvious. It's a, it's a chorus hook delay. It needed to be shaped so that it doesn't get in the way of the lead vocal. And with that in mind, the next move was exactly because of that. So this is something you saw me doing many times, I'm sure. I'm just ducking the delay using the lead vocals, the dry lead vocals as a side chain. So when she sings, the delays go down. And when she stops singing, the delay comes up. Without this compressor here, it would sound like this. So this compressor does the, 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 the work for me, does the volume riding for me, because it's triggered by the lead dry vocal. Without the compressor, the delay would overpower the vocal, you know, the whole time. Okay, so this is the take home message, the, the mode delay before hitting the H delay to stereoize the vocal coming in. If you put the other two effects in. If we put the double in too.
Then we have other two effects, but these are really, really low. You can barely hear them. Let me try to solo them. Then I have these two effects here that I open on my on many of my mixes by default. Then sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't. It's just an eight delay and a slap delay. Uh, let's see. They are there. They're in in this case, but they are so low they really don't make a difference. But let me let me try to solo them. It's an 8 ping pong. And again, it has the sidechain compressor on it. Just to add another layer of, you know, space and, and, and dimension to the vocal. You can see from the meter in the solo. And then we have the slap export which started in stereo, as you can see, it's has it has a weird panning, is 100 on one side and one is a zero. It's big. When I do this, it's because it, I want a mono. So I, I open it opens by default on my template in stereo, but if I want a mono, you can see I turn the one channel down all the way and I center the other channel so it's mono. This really is a simple slap delay mono in this case, as opposed to the stereo one that we have. And I have the EQ just to gently limit the bandwidth. So the vocals with all the effects in, double, slap, reverb. Main delay Baby, I'm and the two delays. Reach out and take me because I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. When you hear it all together, it doesn't sound like so many effects. You probably can get the main delay. Usually I have some throws, in this case I have just this one here, which is the drop vocal that I explained at the beginning. Please, please. Let's try to solo it. We have peace, keep holding on now. Just a very ethereal uh, throw delay, just one word. I, in other mixes I have more of them, some are radio-ish, some are all ethereal like this. But yeah, that's that's just it. And that was it for our lead vocal. Lastly, a quick look at the background in this track specifically. We just have two. And we have low cut and the SSL for both. Two performance, left and right. Fine, but carry on now. It is the right thing. His harmonies. They are routed to our BVs aux out. As you can see, we have a dual mono again because they are two different performances. Deesser as a first slot. But carry on now. It is the right thing. And you can see it's working very hard. These are background vocals. You don't really hear artifacts even if you work hard with, with deesser and compression. SSL is doing more filtering and removing it is the right thing. boxiness here. A little bit of compression just to drive them a little harder. This is pretty basic compression. You can see this notch here, which even by the graphic you can tell is a resonance probably in the microphone or you know the the room we don't know but here is how it sounds but carry on now. It is the right thing. okay it was very annoying <laughs> but carry on now. It is the right thing. But 
carry on now. It is the right thing. But carry on. Just basic cleaning. But carry on now. It is the right thing. You can see the setting of the main compressor is very fast attack, medium release in electro mode. I want these locked. Okay. But carry on now. It is the right thing. The reverb in this case, I didn't want to make another send. Um, I use again the classic studio reverb. Again, underrated suite of reverbs, the whole without. But carry on now. It is the right thing. But carry on now. It is the right thing. The reason because I have it in the insert instead of send is usually I try the reverb here on the insert itself and then when I found the one that I like I open an aux and, and send it there but this sounded pretty good here as it is and there's not really no reason not to especially on background vocals but you don't really have to do much in the way of automation or isolate and and work and process dry and, and effects so much so this was working I left it there and to open it up as one but carry on now it is the right thing but carry on now it is the right thing very very subtle uh, we don't want face problems or anything but yeah it makes a little bit of difference and these are sent to uh vox room for to the same reverb that the lead vocal is sent to so they are sent to the 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 pro r but carry on now it is the right thing so since we use the pro r as a space where the singer was i wanted somehow the same space even if it's such a low level but you don't you don't really notice it and it has this big hall on top of it but it's just you know more for peace of mind than something it's kind of you know in the same space and then we have this last bit. Baby, I'm lost alone. And with the track. Baby, I'm lost alone. Just for the kicks, let's hear this without the effects. Aside from the volume difference, you can hear everything else. And that's pretty much it, I think. Um, I don't have anything on the SSL. Just used for, yeah, this is my settings to avoid um, noise. Uh, if you put your SSL like this with the release all the way, uh, slow, fast attack, all the range up and all the threshold down, it basically only works. When the noise, the background noise, uh, the, the, the noise floor comes in, it's just a, an auto mute system to avoid empty spaces to be noisy. Then they have the client gum just for monitoring view meter. Then I had my hardware, which I don't have now, a cut here because when I worked on this mix, I didn't have my custom EQ yet. And then nothing else but the Nova. Um, dynamic EQ. You can hear it takes care of this two point something K range where the most energy of the vocal and the piano is just tame it a little bit dynamically. is up to 3 dB of gain reduction at 1.2 ratio, so very, very gentle. The Nova is another amazing plugin from Tokyo Dome Lab. If you don't, if you don't know it, if you don't have it, get it. Uh, they have a free version. And that was it. Like I said, I'm missing all my hardware on, on the two bus, but yeah, you can listen to the mix in the info box down below. They released a video. And this is it for today. Let me know if you have any specific question 
uh, or something I didn't cover on this mix. I think we break it down the most important thing, but any question you have, please leave it in the comment down below. Let me remind you that we have a t-shirt right now if you want to support the channel and if you want a new t-shirt, the link is in the info box down below and that we have a lot of material coming out, a lot of new series to follow. So check out the playlist and you can easily find all the episodes of the studio tour, the vlog divided by subject and everything else. So this is it for today, guys. I hope this video or videos, if I end up breaking it down because too long, was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please don't forget to click the like button and leave a comment down below. Join us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all the news of the upcoming series and episodes. Click on the bell icon to receive notification. Subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time.